Hello, hello guys, hi dear. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely awesome. So today I want to share something with you. It's a it's a bittersweet day for me. Today, exactly four years ago, was the day of my accident. The day where my whole life changed. And not only mine, but my sister and her husband's as well. It was changed in the blink of an eye. I think I went from zero to hero. Um, or from hero to zero in a point of a second. So that is why it's a bittersweet day. But when I look back on everything and and where I've started, where I started, of um, I literally started off. Well, when I when I realized what was happening to me or what happened to me, it's it's basically like a, the new Heidi was born, a newborn Heidi. Um, Heidi 2.0 where I basically had to start from infant growing up again I had to start from tummy time having tummy time to from Tummy time proceeding to um, how to crawl again like a baby. Um, I had a phase where I had to learn how to sit independently again, exactly like a baby. I had to learn how to use. A toilet again there was a phase where I had to learn how to to wipe myself after using the toilet there was a phase where um, I had to learn how to be normal again in my new life there was a phase in my life where I had the terrible twos exactly like a a baby where I threw tantrums and fits um, yes that was also due to the brain injuries and stuff like that but where I, I literally threw a fit if I did not get my way there was a phase in my life where I had to start realizing what was going on with me and what happened to me. There was a phase in my life where I couldn't walk. I had to learn how to walk again. <laughs> After the crawling bit, I needed to learn how to walk again. There was a phase in my life which was really dark, and I had a lot of questions about how and why. There was a phase in my life where I had to go to a rehabilitation where they had to teach me all the basics from how to use a knife and a fork to how to swallow to advancing from Drink, drinking through a store, a, a, a straw, to drinking like a normal person, 
just like out of the bottle. I had to go through a phase where I had to leave everyone behind after we moved from Limpopo to the Western Cape. And that's not just not me, it's, 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 it's not only me, it's my sister and my husband as well. I went through a phase in my life where I needed to go to a new re rehabilitation center in Cape Town, which was actually life changing. I had to go through a phase in my life where I needed to learn how to read again. I needed to learn how to write again. I needed to learn how to grasp what I've read. I needed to go through a phase where after I've grasped, grasped what I read, to recall what I read, to do a, a comprehension of what I've read, what that story was about. I needed to go through all those phases to get to a point where I am now. Um, a point in my life where everything is better. Um, a point in my life where I realized that I will never be that Heidi again. I'll never be the Heidi that everyone knew me before my accident. I needed to realize that that day my life completely changed physically, emotionally, mentally it changed I can't change what happened to me what happened in the past I can't change however whatever I did in the past but I was lucky enough to get a second chance at life I was lucky enough to meet people that I have probably would have never met in my normal life I met people that mean that means more to me than what I thought the people I knew meant to me back in the day I've learned to trust people more than I did in the in the past I've realized that I have to rely from time to time on people to help me and obviously it's still a, a difficult thing for me to realize that it's okay to ask for help if I can't stroll up that uphill um, if someone asks to help to let them help even though I know I don't want their help sometimes I do need it and sometimes I do have to accept the help that is offered to me I needed to go through all these phases to realize that I do have a purpose in life even though I'm not quite sure what the purpose is there is a purpose for me there is a re there is a reason that I survived even though I'm not quite sure what it is yet even if it just means to inspire people that are on my page on my pages, Facebook page and my YouTube page um, I just want to give people hope that yes what you are going through is super super bad whatever it is I might not even know the situation but it will get better eventually and the Basically, worst pull I have to swallow is the fact that it'll it'll happen when the time is right. 
my time is in God's time. And that's something that I had to realize. And I'm, I'm, I'm still struggling to accept that part because, I mean, let's be honest, we're all normal. We all want things to go our way. And we have to come to a point in our lives where we realize that, listen, everything is not going to work out the way we want it to work out. And something might happen in your life that changes your life forever. And you have to realize, like, listen, it happened for a reason. I have to basically throw away whatever happened in the past and accept what is happening to me now and be thankful for the fact that I am still here even though it's so difficult from time to time to understand it but there is a reason and I'm glad I'm able to share my life anniversary my anniversary of life with you guys and I'm glad that I'm still alive and I'm able to do this and spread the hope through God that is helping me whether it's through my YouTube channel or my Facebook channel to inspire people and give people hope so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today my anniversary of life I hope you guys have an awesome day and remember hashtag donkey for alles love Heidi